Hi, everybody. It's so good to connect with you again. I wanted to jump on today to create uh, a little practice for us. It's been a while since you and I have meditated together, and I've been feeling a tremendous shift in how uh, emotions are coming up. High, high energy emotions are really coming up right now. So we want to kind of take a look at how we're processing those emotions. A lot of us are getting stuck in the emotions and not being able to process them properly. Um, also, all of those things are manifesting in the multidimensional body. So we're going to do an exercise today to locate where we're holding on to that stagnant information in the body and flush it out. And um, also, as we become aware of the parts of our body that are creating uh, stagnation. Um, noticing the communications that come up, what, where does our attention need to go? Where does our focus need to go? Is it more about coming into a state of compassion with your body and what you're experiencing? Or is it more about becoming aware of all the pain, suffering that we're pulling in collectively? A lot of people are feeling a mourning um, still of the old self of the old world of the old ways that things were things as they were in the past. And even though some people um, may not be feeling that immediately, um, I think it's something that they know they will have to address eventually. So what we want to do is that when we're coming into that transitional point that we're shifting energetically, we're preparing our body for an alchemical change that is necessary. Um, we are used to being tied to this physical physical three-dimensional plane very much enslaved by the unconscious behaviors and actions that are managed through the lower frequencies and those lower frequencies are just our response as survival for for survival we we respond to all those things that happen outside of us in a state of survival because one of the biggest fears that the human has is that of its impermanence of dying of disappearing of suffering and pain and so what we need to notice is that a lot of that subconscious belief is what causes a lot of survival mechanisms in the mind, body, and emotions, and therefore maintaining us in a constant state of wanting to preserve this physical body, preserve this well-being, preserve thought forms, programs that we're tied to because it's what's familiar. Uh, as we transition through this global shift, all of those ideas will crumble down. It's necessary for them to dissolve in order to open space for a new perspective. As human beings, having this human experience as this e eternal, infinite life source of consciousness, having this physical human experience, it's important that we remember that the purpose of this experience above all else is to be able to just experience and maybe from more of a state of an observation, observing each one of these experiences that the human goes through throughout their life, whether that's joy, whether that's suffering, whether that's incredible amounts of love, whether that's creation, whether that's success, whether Whatever the emotion is that comes into us, allowing it like a visitor, there's a quote by Rumi called the visitor, that we allow it to come in, we allow it to stay, we are hospitable enough to it to be able to observe, to know it, to just acquaint ourselves with that emotion. And then once we're done, once we've understood, once they've learned, once we've learned from that experience, from that emotion, we allow it to just leave. And this is how we have to, per we have to perceive and view our emotions and the relationship that we have with our emotions. So it's imperative at this time that we continue that and what is that fluid movement with things that come and go through our lives, whether it's emotions, experiences, people, places, things? Um, this is the divine feminine energy. And in the awakening of the Aquarian age, which began uh, during our winter solstice, um, we've entered into the Aquarian age and the shift that's being done here collectively is a moving out of this um, patriarchal kind of energy, uh, global energy that kind of sustains things in a place of suppression, uh, shadows, um, hidden, uh, non-movement, stagnation, rejection, um, just... Uh, 
denial, really, of all things that are true. We are moving out of that phase in this global system, coming into a phase of enlightenment, awareness, and truth truth. We are becoming acquainted with truth. As all organic beings, as we progress through our cycles of evolution, one of the things that we must acquaint ourselves with when we reach a heightened level of intelligence and also uh, in alignment with technology is the understanding of what truth really is. And what we're finding through this experience collectively is that it brings us back to none other than that of nature. It's within the natural laws of creation that we can find ourselves. We find the true, the algorithms of creation. We understand the equations that it takes for this physical body to sustain its most optimum wellness, most optimum balance in this experience. So how do we return back to that perfect homeostasis or that perfect balance, the equilibrium that is required for the physical body? It's by attuning yourself with all things that are uh, not in denial, not in rejection, uh, not uh, in rejection of their own expression. So, for example, not coming into parasitic consciousness and behavior. Uh, to reiterate what parasitic consciousness is, anytime that a person rejects their own consciousness, their own awareness, their own self, they lack self-love is an expression of the ref 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 reflection, excuse me, of um, parasitic consciousness. Because anything that rejects itself believes inherently that it must take from outside in order to become whole. And so we feel that we need to take from outside in order to feel loved, to feel complete, to feel whole, to feel balanced, to feel power, to feel success, all of these things. This is this is a expression of that parasitic consciousness. And it's something that was very heavily, heavily utilized and is continued to be utilized through this patriarchal system that we are trying to depart from, from the past uh, century okay and this these cycles that we're going are cycles universally okay this is energy that we are moving through as we're experiencing collectively all possibilities in the universe and on planet earth because everything is physical we're very tangible the three-dimensional plane we feel it more through the emotions so this is why the emotions are the most important thing to become acquainted with, to master, to understand. And what I mean master is not suppress and control and deny. I mean become acquainted, work fluidly with, and learn from as the incredibly and the most valuable tools of utilizing the incredible technology that is this multidimensional body. And what we want to achieve by that is to create that balance, that stasis, the stasis that we see in nature, the beauty, the perfection, and the imperfection that we see in nature is all a balance that is very carefully, mathematically, and perfectly designed to work symbiotically together with all its surroundings, all its environment. Everything is a cycle of life and death, and it flows without resistance through that cycle. And that is why it's regenerative. It's always flourishing. It's always expanding and growing. So we want to create that environment within our bodies. So anytime that we continue to have stagnation, rejection, denial, fear, anytime that we pull away from truth in any way, this is how we are coming into a toxicity and uh, into this parasitic consciousness. Now, it is my belief that we all have the free will to choose how we wish to experience things. So what this video is serving for at this time is an invitation into bringing yourself into your optimum wellness, your optimum balance, your optimum truth. And this weekend, um, I'm going to be speaking at the Higher Self Expo about the zero point and how to reach that. What is the zero point? The zero point is basically the most powerful point of creative life force energy. But how do we achieve that huge superpower that we hear about so much? There's 
many systems in our physical body that must be activated through our awareness, through our understanding of how to manage our emotions and how to begin to work with the systems that often are weaponized against us because we are unconscious of our bodies and our emotions and what's happening inside. So note that you are a fractal reflection of everything that is happening outside of us. Everything, human thought, human mind, all of these things are cyclical. They're cyclical patterns of one another. And within each person, we can find the secret and an understanding of the greater whole. So what that means is that each and every one of you is incredibly, incredibly valuable to the collective healing that is required at our time in order to in a more productive, healthy, beautiful, loving, compassionate, creative, meaning not destructive way, move through the transition that we're having to move through. And this is very much an alchemical, it is a chemical and electrical trans formation that has to happen in the body because we are more electrical than we are really this physical mass and through the charges neutralizing the charges of heavy low frequency in the body into high frequency that transmutational point that is created by the change of thoughts is the powerful key to transmuting your experience and to lessening the suffering through this transitional point. And so I'm really asking you to kind of come up to the next step and look at yourself as more than just this human person having everyday experiences, but instead as this powerful tool of transformation, one of a billion, billions that we have on this planet Earth. However, collectively together, the more that we come into that awareness and practice of that consciousness, we can pull the direction and in other words change the timelines that we are experiencing collectively and individually right because there are a million timelines that we can move in in and out from and we are moving in and out from at every time but it's our decisions in our actions and choices that will define what we experience next so this time right now in the universe is incredibly important and powerful because what we choose to do and feel right here, right now, in this moment, if I'm feeling anxiety and fear, or if I'm feeling love, compassion, and just complete authenticity of who I am, where I am at this moment, I am more of a productive force of energy, creative energy, than I am with the other. So this is the invitation. So I want you to get really nice and comfortable and join me in this meditation. I'm just going to take you into a very quick practice to eliminate any kind of stagnant energy in the body so that you can help yourself and start on this track to bringing in that home, that stasis in the body. Okay, so let's get started. I want you all to take a nice deep breath. And as you're breathing, your focus is going to be purely on your breath. With every breath you take, allowing yourself to sit deeper and deeper into the stillness that you feel around you. With every breath you take, becoming acquainted with the stillness in the body and the silence around you. Expanding the lungs with this oxygen that enters the body and breathing into our solar plexus, into our belly area, not just the lungs, not just up here. We want to breathe all the way down. So when you breathe from the belly, you're expanding the belly, not the shoulders. I want you to come into a state of complete observation at this time and imagine that you are standing outside of yourself looking in at you. You're watching yourself sit wherever you are. 
in a state of meditation, in a state of calm. Watching yourself breathing deeply and exhale. Notice how when your mind focuses in the present moment, you are not entering into states of fear, anxiety, you're not looking at the past and you're not looking at the future. This is grounding. We're going to bring our body into neutrality and help our brain come into alpha state. I want you to visualize that you are connecting yourself down to the center of the earth. So just imagine that you have a cord of light that connects to your belly, the waist, the hips, the pelvic bone, all the way down to the center of the earth. Just allow yourself to send down an, a visualization of roots of a tree, of a light. Send it down to the core of the planet and anchor yourself. And now when you breathe, you're going to imagine that you're pulling that breath all the way down to the center of the earth. And with every breath you take, it's as if the entire planet breathes with you. So what you're doing right now, chemically, energetically, and physically, you are aligning yourself with the natural circadian rhythms of the planet, the natural movement of the planet. And so this is what we want to do. This is your awareness of this present moment and in that alignment brings your entire human body, your entire energetic system into balance, into a state of awareness and its most optimal truth. The only state that is true is what is here in this present moment right now. So that's what you're creating for yourself. As you're breathing, inhaling and exhale, breathing in that energy into the core of the body, into the core of the earth. I want you to begin to work with your emotions. So we're going to start with the root chakra at the base of the spine. Go ahead and visualize closing that chakra like a flower or like the aperture of a camera. You're closing that chakra all the way down. Going up to the sacral chakra, right underneath the belly button. Go ahead and visualize closing that. Going into the solar plexus, go ahead and visualize closing that chakra all the way down. Going up into the heart chakra, visualize opening that heart chakra, front and back of your body. Opening the center of unconditional love, of connection. You're activating the higher self. You're going to go up to your throat. Open the throat, the blue light, front and back. And notice how your mind more easily is sustaining this present awareness. Going up to the third eye, expanding that third eye chakra, front and back. Going into the crown chakra, you're going to enter your color of creation into all areas of your life. Okay. And it's in this moment that you've activated your intuitive ability. So I want you to tap in now as you look at the seven layers. Our body has seven layers layers and we have many more but the ones that we can master in this time is the seven layers of the body so go ahead and look at the first layer and go ahead and tap into what you're holding on to there this will usually be the heaviest one one of the heaviest ones this is where you're tapping into a lot of physical uh, ailments in the body pains what I want you to do is notice where you see that stagnation of information. So pain, illness, stiffness in the body is a manifestation of energy stagnation. So what you want to do is you want to visualize that you're moving that stagnation out. You can visualize that you are pushing through water. Visualize that you are clearing out something uh, with light. Go ahead and visualize that you're shifting it out of your body, down to the center of the earth, out of your body, down that channel, that grounding channel that you've created for yourself. 
So I'm going to go around my body and I'm going to clear out anything that I feel, any warm spots, any dark spots, any colors that feel off. We're going to remove that out of the body. And I want you to notice how your physical body responds to the movements of the energy in that space. You'll notice that it is, there is a very powerful deep connection between those two systems of the physical and the energetic in your body. You're going to go up to the second layer. Okay, we're going to go ahead and scan that second layer around the whole body. Notice what we are holding on to and clearing that out. And because our body is more electrical, we are working through charges of energy. When charges are really low, they cause really heavy static in that space. When charges are very high vibrational, they are lighter, fluid, so they're not going to cause stagnation. So what you want to do is that you move, as you move that out, you're literally changing the dial of that vibrational frequency of that information because you can never delete something. You can only transmute it. All we're doing is transmuting that heavy stagnant energy into a higher. We are lightening the vibrational frequency in that space. So that's what you want to do in the second layer. Go ahead and move. And the areas that are targeted the most in the physical body are the spine. So you're going to focus on what you're holding on to in your spine. You can find uh, attachments, entities. You can find um, uh, bio technology in that space or implants in other words uh, in that space that you want to remove okay and this is organic and what will appear inorganic in that space so go ahead and pull all of what you see there a lot of times it looks like metal bars or or wires or cords pulling into the spine the spine is always targeted the heaviest because this is your your main matter source of, of data code of your of your genes okay all of that is in the spinal cord so that a lot of that is highly um, targeted by many entities attachments things like that so we want to be aware of that and just gently pull that out it, you can always remove what is in your body because you are the master so move whatever is there out of your space Excellent. You're going to go up to the third layer now. This is going to be emotions. So you're going to feel the majority of these shifts in the organs because that's where we tend to hold a lot of uh, the organs and the muscles, the nervous system. All of that is very heavily affected by the stagnation in this layer. So go ahead and remove what you feel in that space. Okay. We're going to go up to the fourth layer. That's the heart center. So if you have a broken heart, heavy energy, sadness, sorrow, depression, feelings of unworthiness, that's where you will find those thought forms. Go ahead and move those out. This, these are blockages that don't allow us to integrate the higher self and make that chemical change that's necessary in the body in order to embody love. So go ahead and move that out. Going into the fifth layer, the throat. This is the balance of the feminine and masculine. This is the entire center of creating homeostasis for the whole body. So it's incredibly important. Perceptions of, of confusion, of identity, of self, of balance, uh, resentments either toward the feminine, masculine, uh, very much connected to the solar plexus um, and your empowerment okay and also uh, sexual energy creative life force energy becomes very stagnant here um, and your perception of yourself with your own sexuality uh, any of those uh, com confusions conflicts fears all of that is heavily affects the throat so we want to move that out and of course 
all of those thought forms affect how you express yourself. So this is where it's very important to move that because what we're affecting here is the important glands in the body, the uh, lymphatic system that really regulates, you know, the weight of your body, the heat, the temperature, your immune system. So this is really, really important. Notice what thoughts come up as you clear this space and notice if how many layers you're holding on to there. A lot of times the blockages here will connect to the heart space, the solar plexus, and the sexual organs. So go ahead and clear all of that out completely. Okay. We're going to go up into the third eye now. So go ahead and visualize that layer. This is your intuitive body. So anytime that you have a deep resentment to yourself, you don't forgive yourself. You are rejecting parts of yourself, your divinity. You're afraid of your divinity. You're afraid of your power. You're afraid of your light. All of those programs are living in that space and they are what block your intuition. So this is what we want to move out. It's self-doubt. It has to do with trust and it really connects deeply with the root chakra of well-being of feeling safe and protected and secure so this is the thing that we need to start to work with remove all of those programs out of that layer of your body go ahead and clear them out and notice how you're going to feel a lot of it on the outer layer of your physical body because um, it is heavily affected with the nervous system because um our gut is actually like our second brain and it's very much connected with the heart system. The intuitive engine of the body is the pineal gland, the third eye, heart center, and your gut system. The biome of the body is what balances those, uh, you know, how we are uh, reacting emotionally to things. And when we eat too much sugar, when we're eating too many processed foods, it creates imbalances in how in distortions and distractions to pure divine energy, to pure divine communication. So we want to clear out and repair all of those, um, you know, things that are affecting the physical body that don't allow us to channel in pure information. So this is part of the purification process, preparation of this human body as it comes into this alchemical shift that we're coming through collectively. So go ahead and visualize that layer, clearing out all those areas in that space. Again, breathing deeply, and I want you to just scan your body and notice how much lighter you feel, how much more centered, more grounded. You know, this is where you have created the groundwork, the building blocks of your spiritual practice and your spiritual work of not just spiritual, it is physical well-being, mental well-being, emotional well-being, and your success in your life, your creation you are a creative engine. So if you don't have the parts nice and lubricated and functioning perfectly, you'll never enter into that state of creation that you need. And so this time that we have as we're moving through this transition is to gently guide everyone into the education of how to come into that higher expression. And this is the information that we need to understand. We need to understand how this body functions so that we know how to help it, help guide it into creating wellness, well-being, homeostasis, perfection, creative life force energy, that zero point balance um, that is necessary. So go ahead and visualize going up to your crown and we're going to activate the higher levels into the eighth, ninth, activate the eighth, illuminate the eighth, Illuminate the ninth, illuminate the tenth, the eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, and above you is a white light of source. You're going to connect up into that source light, and you're going to bring in that source light into the body, integrating fully your true core essence, your true divine blueprint, which is this infinite soul that you are having this human experience. So go ahead and bring that into the body. And I want you to visualize that it's surrounding your body, penetrating into the pores, the pla the flesh, the muscles, the bones down to the cellular level. And you're going to speak to the cells of the body from the crown of the head to the feet. And we request in this moment that we fully come into the present.
requesting in this moment that all cells in this body come into the present, come into awareness. I want you to surround yourself with the protection. Go ahead and visualize the field of energy that you become aware of in your space now. Your protective field can be made out of something that is impenetrable. And I want you to tap into this blissful moment of connecting with pure life force energy. This is who you truly are. You are this creative life force energy. You are this light. So the more we practice this, the more we widen the thread of source that runs through this system, that communicates through this system, that acts through this system. That is what you are. Focus on this. And as you open your eyes, come back into the room. Understand the difference between distractions and anything that pulls you away from the wisdom of the of your body is always going to be in order to take your attention away and come in as parasitic consciousness this is just the dance of these energies in all things in nature in our environments in our societies in ourself okay when we reject the part of ourselves other things can take over anger, frustration, rejection, denial, resentment. So we want to be aware that we have this love so that we can just balance all these parts of us. And this is what I invite you to do today. I thank you so much for joining me. And I want to tell you that I love you so much. And I'm so grateful for you being here. Um, I am very, very happy that um, we have created a family in this channel. And um, any questions that you have, please do send them my way. Um, I have been spending the last couple months building a very strong network to support the work that is needed for the next few years, which is huge. And so those of you that are light workers probably know that this is a time of preparation internally and externally. And each and every one of us holds a very key puzzle piece to what we're creating. So I'm honored to have you here. And if you found value in this video, please share it with those that you love. And I really hope that you can help me in sharing this message so that we all help ourselves come into this state of awareness as it's so needed in order to create collective wellness, which is the most important thing for us right now. All my love, and I'll see you soon. Please join me on Saturday at a Higher Self Expo. I look forward to seeing you there. You can also sign up for my retreat, high, uh, Zero Point, which we're going to go very deep into all these things. And I'm also hosting an intuition workshop at the end of the month on the 30th, I believe. Let me just check that date on the 30th. So if you want to join that and learn about intuition, um, we have some guest teachers that are going to be on higher healing that will put their input on how to train our intuition, automatic writing, all these tools for working that intuitive engine and really making it present itself. So join me. It's going to be a very fun class and um, I can't wait to see you there. All my love. See you soon.